Hello and welcome to Sovereign's Gaming Center. Today we're going to be doing a quick guide running through some spells as is asked to be done by one of the Steam community. I'm just going to run through quickly and give a list of what spells I believe are most important and what spells should be in your spell book at all times. Some things can change depending on your playstyle, but my clerics usually usually what I do is I use them as buffers or debuffers. Uh, the, the occasional bit of CC but for the most part I'm going to be buffing up the rest of the party to dish out the damage. So we'll start off with the Orison level spells which are level 0. These spells are not expended when cast so you can cast them as many times as you want. The only spell that you will ever use in this is light and light is very useful. It is used all the time in every dark spot and let me tell you in this game there is a, an awful lot of dark places, dungeons, caves. Even at night time sometimes you'll need to use it out in the outside. Other than that, there's nothing else within the Orison level spells that I would even go near. Virtue, Resistance, Guidance, I don't use any of them. Then we'll move on to level 1. Normally when I'm playing a cleric I stick the Animal Domain. The Animal Domain gives you a pet at level 4. And some of this, the domain slots that you can fill in later on are quite useful. Some animal things, but we'll go into that as we get there. First spell I believe in the must have list is Bless, which is a plus one on attack rolls and on saving throws against fear effects. Pretty much self explanatory, it's casted at a 30 foot burst centered on the caster. Next we have Shield of Faith, casted on one friendly creature within touch range. This basically gives plus two deflection bonus to AC and it gives you more plus five maximum at 18th level. You use this uh, against you use it to cast on a tank or someone who's being targeted by several creatures who's a bit squishier. It's only ever used in those situations. Sometimes if you want to run in with a boss, you chuck it on the Shield of Faith on the main tank and throw the main tank straight at a boss. Next on the list, we have Bane, which is basically the opposite of Bless. It can counter and dispel Bless, and Bless can also counter and dispel Bane if an enemy throws it on your party. It gives you a minus one penalty on attack rolls and minus one penalty on saving throws. Next on the list we have protection from alignment. The good thing about this spell is that you can press pause, you cast a spell, depending on what creatures you're fighting, whether they're good, evil or neutral, you can put that up on your party. It gives you a plus one deflection bonus to AC and plus two resistance bonus on saves against the creature's alignment that you are fighting. Pretty much self explanatory again. I've chucked a Cure Light Wounds in there because there's nothing really else I feel is useful in the level 1 spells. You can use Cause Fear, you can use other things like Remove Fear which is also quite, it is quite useful but again not many creatures cast fear on you. It's, it's something that's very situational. If you're going into a fight with a creature that's cast fear on your party, if you've lost because your entire party's feared and it's just mullered down your party one by one. Stick a remove fear in there, keep the cleric further back, when the fear is cast you take it off of the tank, throw the tank in there who can survive a lot longer and wait for the fear to subside. Later on in levels you can get a mass group remove fear which is pretty much what would take over this and then any other spell in here you don't really have to use. Moving on to level 2. In the domain slot we have hold animal. Hold animal is quite useful because you'll be fighting a lot of wolves, a lot of bears, there's groups of animals that you can use this for, it's not necessarily needed in the lower levels, the lower levels are more just haste less and let them run in and you take out pretty much any animal, any monster, any creature, any boss, it's very simple, this is mainly if you're going to be fighting on harder difficulties where you need to just get rid of that one animal for a limited amount of time while you're dealing with the rest. Quite useful. Next on the list we have Delay Poison. Delay Poison is as it tells. It stops the poison from taking effect until the spell has run out and then the poison takes effect. So if you're fighting a group of spiders and wrap a poison on you, you can just... Throw your delay poison on your party, chuck your tank in there. The poisons won't work on the tank until the duration of the spell is over, and by then, hopefully, you've killed the monsters. Next on the list, we have resist energy. Now, resist energy is must, 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 must have during. You can select which type of energy you want to resist against acid, cold, electricity, fire, or sonic. 
The subject gains a resist energy 10 against the energy type chosen. It's pretty much if you're fighting against an elemental creature or a boss that has an elemental weapon and you want to protect your tank from being hit by, for a certain amount by the energy resistance, then this is what you chuck on them. There's a communal one later on, which will come later up in the list, but this is for the lower levels is very useful. Protection from alignment communal. Now, it's the same as the protection from alignment before, but this spell is cast on everyone. All enemies within a 30 foot burst centered on the caster. It should be all allies. So there's a nice little typo for you in there. So all allies within a 30 foot burst centered on caster get the plus two AC and the plus two resistance bonus. This is again, this is another spell that you're going to be using a lot. Moving on from there, we have hold person. This is the same as hold animal. It, it takes someone out of the fight for a little while while you're dealing with the rest of them. Sometimes it will negate and there'll be a save each round. So if you're using it and say they have a will save two seconds into the spell, then they will come out of the whole person. But if you chuck it on one of the lower guys who's in the back, one of the archers, it takes them out of the fight so they're not shooting down your team while you're not doing it. And moving on to level three, we have in the domain slot, Dominate Animal. Dominate Animal takes, basically, it's like Dominate Person, except that the spell is resisted by Creature. Restricted by Creature. You can make any humanoid creature fight on your side, which is Dominate Person. The, the, there's something wrong with some of these tooltips. Spell functions like Dominate Person, as I said. It will attack your opponents to the best of its ability. However, this creature will try to throw off the domination, making a will save each round. Same as Hold animal or hold person this is good if you're fighting a group and you can try to throw a dominate animal on one of the higher level animals that are there and they can start fighting for you it's another way of getting an extra pet on here in level three we have prayer you bring a special favor upon yourself this gives you plus one luck on attack rolls luck but it's just plus one on attack rolls it, it, it just adds another plus one. Weapon damage rolls, saves, and skill checks, while each of your foes takes a minor one, minus one penalty. And this is everything with 40 foot burst of faster. So it's a PBAOE, a point blank air effect that does everything in the area. It gives, gives all your enemies the minus one on the same rolls as it gives your allies a plus one. Next, we have Delay Poison Communal. This, again, is the same as Delay Poison, but it's on the entire group of allies around you in a 30 foot burst around yourself next we're going to have resist energy communal which again is resist energy and you pick the type of energy you want but it does your entire group archon's aura you gain a powerful aura on yourself this is a self cast spell similar to an archon's aura of menace any hostile creature within 20 foot radius of you must succeed a will save to resist the effects of this aura if the creature fails, it takes a minus two penalty on attack rolls and saving throws and two armor class for the duration of the spell. It is very, very, very good. I, I like this spell, but it can be swapped out for Animate Dead, which is one of my favorite spells in the game and any of the higher level versions of it. It's just undead allies, undead characters. They just, they have to have, they have to be hit by a certain plus of magical weapon they can't be hurt by normal weapons but Archon Zora is, is is a hard choice for me I stuck Archon Zora in there for the buffing aspect but animate dead is also a good one to chuck in there now we have level 4 which in the domain slot we have our first summer nature's ally this will the, the first level one will chuck up some leopards or giant frogs they, they come in, it's just summon summoning pets to fight for you. It's good if you're fighting big groups or you want to swarm a boss so he takes his mind off of you while he's attacking what's around him. Freedom of Movement is one of those spells, if you have a mage or a sorcerer and they're casting web and they're casting cloud kill and something that slows you down, uh, any of the grease spells, you chuck up a Freedom of Movement and you'll be able to get through. But it's only on one creature or one ally or whatever you cast it on so if you want your say you've got the barbarian 
Miri, and you want her to get through the web and smash the boss on the other side who's firing arrows at you. You just stick it on her, she can run straight through the web. Next we have Death Ward, which basically is self-explanatory. You get bonus say on saves against all death spells and magical death effects. Now there are some traps in this game where you will walk through and you will get insta-killed. If you have the Death Ward up and you don't have someone who can spot or disable the trap, then you stick the Death Ward up and you run that character through the trap. You might have to save and reload a few times if it still doesn't save, uh, make the save, but it's very useful against other creatures as well. Some of the undead cast a few death spells at you, finger of death, so those sort of things. Now we have restoration, which again undead will attack you or traps will hit you and they will take levels away from your character. This is a spell that brings those levels back. Now if you're playing a game where you don't have all negative effects disappear on rest, then Restoration is one of those spells that you will need to have because it happens quite often. Protection from Energy Communal, same thing, your whole group, all, enemy, all enemies, again it's all allies with a 20 foot burst centered on caster. They still haven't fixed these tooltips, it's kind of annoying. Is this, again, it's the same thing. It can go up to a maximum of 120 at 10th level. Just pick whatever one you're fighting against. You're fighting against the fire dragon. You stick on fire uh, energy, etc, etc. There's not really any other spells. You've got Dismissal, which chucks out if you're fighting an extra planet creature, which there isn't actually that many in this game, weirdly enough. It will be one of those things that if someone summons an elemental against you, you can cast this spell, you can throw it off. You've got neutralized poison, which will just get rid of the poison completely. You've got your cure critical wounds, which, I mean, healing spells, I never use them. I, I don't see a point in them. They're not very effective. The, the healing in this game is quite low. Uh, they still haven't fixed that to any point. It makes restoration clerics just pointless. At level 5 now, we have in a domain slot, Beast Shape 3, which you become a large bear. Basically, it's you, you get some ability in the Druid path line. Where you get plus 4 size, bonus to your strength, uh, you get all these abilities. Not really used. I don't tend to use it because you cannot cast spells while in bear form. But, it's a slot that has to be taken up. Next, Raise Dead. Self-explanatory. Character dies, you cast the spell, it brings them back to life. It's a very important spell for me, if, especially if you're playing in the higher levels. Unless, obviously, your character just gets one shot, insta-killed, never come back to life again. Spell resistance is the same. Targets gain spell resistance equal to 12 plus your caster level. This is very important against if you're fighting mages or if you're fighting any of the... See, with dragons, a dragon breath is counted as a spell, so you can use this in the same way that you use resist energy. Break enchantment. So it, it frees victims from any enchantments, transmutations, and curses. Anything that involves being a held person, held animal, making confusion, or if they have dominated one of your characters, you can use this to break the enchantment. Cleanse. This gets rid of all your confusion, your blindness, diseased, exhausted, fatigued, nauseated, poisoned, and sickened. This spell will... Which is why I didn't really use Cleanse Poison earlier. So Cleanse is one of those ones where if a character's being poisoned, then say it's your mage who doesn't have that much HP and is getting hit quite heavily, you'll chuck a cleanse up, get rid of the poison. On uh, level 5, there's not really much. You can, you can use a bit of Vine Trap. It's uh, basically a very small hold animal, hold person, hold creature. It doesn't really... Other than that, there's not too much on this side. But I like Bone Shatter, but I use that on my Necromancer Mage. Which is... It's, it's a very good spell, but we're not doing a damaging type person here. Next is level 6. In the domain slot, Summon Nature's Ally 6. Same thing, but you get Diabores or Manticores. Manticores are quite useful. They cannot be hit by anything more than a plus one. By anything less than a plus one, sorry. Then we have Dispel Magic Greater. Dispel Magic Greater, you can use this to get rid of any web that's been left from a trap that you've missed. Cloud Kill, uh, 
any of the slowing spells, any of the over spells, or if any of the spells in general, any spell that's been cast in the area. You can get rid of a spell that's been cast on a creature or one area of effect from a spell in the selected point. So when you cast it down in the middle of the web, it will get rid of the web. It's useful if you want to use those spells. Uh, if, you use a, if you're using a mage, sometimes you'll have to chuck a web up and then you'll have to get through the web so you can either use freedom of movement or dispel magic greater to get rid of it completely. Next spell on this list I would say would be heal. Heal enables you challenge positive energy into a creature to wipe away injury inflictions. It gets uh, It's another spell that gets rid of blinded, confused, dazed, dazzled, diseased, exhausted, fatigued, nauseated, poisoned, sickened and stunned. Now this one is the only one that can get rid of being stunned. It's a, it's a useful spell if one of your characters gets stuck in a bit of a crappy situation. Now this last one was kind of a... It was kind of a pick for me. You can use Banishment, you can use Hellfire Ray, which does a bit of damage if you want to chuck something out there to do a bit of damage. You've got Chains of Light, which can hold a creature in place. You have Joyful Rapture, which gives all allies within the area. One dies for Intelligence, Wisdom and Charisma, damage to all allies. But it doesn't give damage to all allies, it helps all allies. But again, another broken tooltip. Undeath to death, that's something that you can chuck up there if you're fighting undead, a group of skeletons, some of them are pretty strong, uh, if there's any vampires you run into you can use this and sometimes you can insta kill them. But I like to use blade barrier, blade barrier is just a wall of swords that you stick up and the creatures that run through them get damaged, basically 1.6, 1, 1 die 6 points of damage per caster level up to a maximum of 15 die 6. If they save, they still take half the damage. So it's not like if they save and run through it, they get nothing. They're still always going to get damage. That's why I like this spell, especially in dungeons and caves where you can just cover the entire halfway up. And if they're running through, everything will get damaged no matter what. Moving on to level 7, we have the main slot, which has summon nature's ally at 7. Now, as I said before... I pick animal domain because I like to have the extra pet that can be used that is basically another character in the party that doesn't take up a slot. Create Undead is another one of my favorite spells. Create Undead is it summons a Grave Knight or Guardian Armor and these, these guys are overpowered to hell. They are so overpowered they, they can hardly take any damage, they hit like trucks, it's just something that i will never have off i will always have that in my spell book restoration greater same as the lesser restoration and the restoration before that it just allows you to get more levels back from temporary damage it also eliminates fatigue and exhaustion removes all forms of insanity confusion and similar mental effects that's new i didn't read that one before that's not normally what's in a greater restoration spell but okay now the last one was another one where I just I, I chucked Blasphemy in there because it's any non evil creature in the area gets uh, weakened or dazed, paralyzed, weakened and dazed depending on what the hit die is. It, it's one of those ones. But normally there, there's other versions of this. There's Words of Chaos, there's... Uh, where's the other one? Another one, another one. You've got Blasphemy, you've got Words of Chaos, you've got... There's another one somewhere. So any chaotic evil, any non-lawful, any non-evil. You've also got holy word, which is any non-good, which is this is the one that you want to use. I accidentally put blasphemy in there, but holy word, holy word is the one you really want to use. You've got some other attacks in here that do some damage. You've got jolt important, waves of ecstasy is one you could also use, but it's again spells that I don't really ever use. I, w I will use holy words sometimes or depending if I'm having to fight a good group of people then you can check out blasphemy etc etc destruction is a weaker form of um what is the one so we can for weaker form of the mage spell to disintegrate but it doesn't just make you disappear moving on to eighth level in the domain slot summon nature's ally eight this one summons Nereid or Mastodons or Natural Smilodons. 
again if you have a different domain you'll have different slots but I never use any of the other domains having an extra character is just more important than all the rest for me you've got holy aura which gives you plus four deflection bonus to AC and plus four resistance second it gives you 25 against evil spells resistance and spells cast by evil creatures third the abjuration protects all mind just a mega buff this can be thrown up and any evil creatures you are fighting will almost not be able to do anything to you when you're in the harder difficulties they'll have much higher hit dies so it's not as useful but it's still more useful than not having it i chucked in a firestorm in here but there's nothing else really in the eighth level spells that i would use you can have cure critical cool wounds mass for a group heal i just stuck a little bit of a damaging spell in there death clutch I use this spell because I love the idea of being able to rip someone's heart from their chest and pull it to yourself. That's the only reason why it does quite a bit of damage and it can instantly kill if they, it does more damage than their HP. It's just that they're just dead. It's a, it's a very nice spell and I just love that idea. And in the ninth level, the final is the Summon Edges Ally 9, which summons a Hammer Dryad or Natural Nereids or Natural Mastodons. Again, that's going to change if you have a different domain. Heal Mass. This gets rid of anything you could possibly think of. Any debilitating effect. Any exhaustion, fatigue, nauseated, poison, sickened, stunned, dazzled, dazed, blinded, confused. Anything, it will get rid of it. All of it in a 30 foot burst around the targeted creature. Or your ally. The wording in these teal tips, they, they make me confused sometimes. Overwhelming presence. All enemies within a 30 foot burst around in a medium range. Your presence inspired incredible aura in those nearby. These creatures are cowering for the duration of the spell, which means they will not hit as much. They will not hit as hard and they will not move some of the time. They become staggered and they have a wisdom drain. This is one of those ones where there's a big, if there's a big group, you can stick this in there and it will lower how much trouble you'll have with a large group of enemies. The last spell, as there's nothing else within the ninth level, it's kind of underwhelming really what the ninth level cleric has. Um, it's going to be the deity selection. You, there's other deities that have much more powerful selections in the ninth level, but again, the character pet, that's the one you want. So Polar Midnight is basically just does a lot of cold damage and dexterity damage. It will always do the damage. It cannot, even if it's saved, negates, it just negates the dexterity damage, but not the cold damage. So you're always going to have the damage there. It's a really useful spell, but I don't really use damaging spells in my clerics. That's pretty much the entire gist of it. These are the spells that I think you must have as a cleric. I think you must use as a cleric. There are other spells in there, depending on the way you play. Say, for instance, you, you can stick Angelic Presence in there if you want to be hitting. If you want to be running in as a melee cleric, you, there's other things you can use. But this is the way that I play, and this is the I, what I believe is the best for the cleric in the group. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, please tell me what you didn't like about it, how I could make it better, what I could do to change it up. Uh, if you like it a lot, then subscribe. If you leave a comment in the uh, in the bottom to let me know if you want any other spells to go through from the mages, sorcerers, which that will be explained in a different guide. But thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.